channel. So today um, I'm going to be making another cake and this time it's not just going to be a regular one. It's going to be like a Pinterest inspired cake. So I'm going to have like the inspo images on the screen so you kind of know what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, also, if you see me filming with my phone some of it, it's because um, I actually started my own baking TikTok account on TikTok and it's going to be on the screen and it's just called Baking with Francesca so if you want to check out some anytime I bake and stuff when I'm not filming on YouTube you can go on that channel and it'll be there so I'm actually filming a TikTok right now so if you like kind of see me filming a few things with my phone that's why so um, anyways, we're just going to make a chocolate cake with vanilla buttercream and strawberries and stuff, and it'll be pretty good, so stay tuned, and let's get started. So, I'm actually going to be doubling the recipe. We'll just start off with that, and so I need six cups of all-purpose flour to double the recipe. Yikes. Okay, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leah, stop. Leah. You're making a lot of noise. Okay, guys, so like I literally have to switch to a bigger bowl because I'm doubling the recipe and it's going to be a lot. So right now, I'm literally just adding sugar. Okay. Oh. Now I'm adding my cocoa powder. Come out. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm doing the wet ingredients because I finished the dry ingredients. Bella! Hey, come here! Stop whining! Come here! So, right now I'm doing the eggs. I need eight eggs. Oh my god. Oh, I got yolk on my boot! Six. Seven. Dang, no eggshells. Okay, I'm missing my eggs and now it's time for buttermilk. So now it's time for like the hard part. I have to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And the wet ingredients are like about right here. I don't understand how this is going to be able to fit in there, but it fit last time. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my gosh. dry ingredients mixture. I'm just gonna see how it goes. So this is such a good trick that I learned. My cake is ready but I need to put it in my pans and stuff. So this is such a good trick that I learned so the cake won't stick to the bottom. Like this. And then what you do is you take like that. And I actually outlined it so you're gonna take your scissors and cut it. And now you have three circles of parchment paper so you can line the bottom. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to line the bottom and s I need to unlock it. Will it spray? It's foaming. Oh my gosh. Pam to work, so right now they're coated with Pam. I'm just gonna put them in the oven. Okay, so I cleaned up and the cakes are done. And actually, they are right here. I have my three cakes, and oh my gosh, I have never had a cake that baked so nicely. Look how even and like nice it is. Um, and I'm gonna take them out because so they cool faster. And look at that, so much Pam oil and uh, so much Pam spray and so much. Um, like a parchment paper helps a lot. Okay guys, so my cakes are in the fridge and now it's definitely time to start the buttercream. Okay, so I did finish I did finish my buttercream frosting and I'm gonna put it in the fridge because it kind of melted. Say hi Lola! can have some buttercream. Fine. Love you. Okay, now I gotta go wash my hands. Okay, so I got my buttercream colors and 
right now I'm going to just um, start stacking. All right, so now I'm going to pipe like a little ring around it. And then I'm gonna pipe up a little bit because um, here I'm gonna be putting some strawberries. Obviously, it's not perfect, but the cake needs to have a lot of frosting just so it has a good place to stick to. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a little thin layer um, of frosting to the top, and this is kind of just to lock in all the crumbs. Okay, so I finished my crumb coat and I kind of filled in all the gaps in the cake. So I'm gonna freeze it for a few minutes and then I'm going to take it out and frost it for real. So, yeah. Okay guys, so the cake is pretty firm. It's, um, it was only in there for like seven minutes or something. So right now I'm gonna um, add my buttercream. Um, I got it, I filled in more gaps, and it's going to kind of be the second little layer, and I'm going to make a little more buttercream, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back in better than ever. I just made another batch of buttercream frosting. Okay, so I frosted my cake, and right now it's, I love the color. Right now I'm going to be working on the daisies on it. And I'm kind of just like practicing on this parchment paper. I'm going to do a half one first. I did the first one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add like a little boop in the middle. All right. Um, I'm going to do some off camera and I'll show you so far how it's going. Okay, guys. So I finished some of the little daisies, and they're looking really cute. I really like them. And right now, I'm just gonna write. Um, I'm gonna put on some of uh, some pearl little cute sprinkles. So I have the top here done, and it has some sprinkles on it. You can't really see good. Oh my gosh! Come on! It's gonna burst. Like I watch it burst. Look at how much it's about to burst. Oh my gosh. Come on, I need some frosting. Oh my gosh. It's literally about to burst. Oh my gosh. Scared. Okay, um, I got one thing, whatever that is. Um, I got one flower in there. So now it's time to keep going. Okay guys, so right now I did all the flowers or daisies on the side of my cake and now um, I have this yellow frosting and I'm going to write um, happy on it. I actually didn't do the back because it's actually like snowing outside. It's literally Texas and snowing. So I'm not going to waste time to do the back. That's not even going to be seen. Um, I'm just going to write and you'll only see the front, so. Okay guys, so right now I have my flowers on the side and I have happy written on top. So here's how it's looking. And now I'm just going to do the bottom border and I'll be done. Oh my gosh, that was like the perfect amount of frosting. It started melting so bad, starting to go around, but whatever. It's like, barely made it. 
But look at that! I got the cake. Okay guys, so here's the finished cake. And I actually did add more than the Pinterest picture, but it, it's okay. It's, it's just some more sun, not sunflowers, daisies. And just, I added a border. And I'm gonna give you guys a look from the top. So this cake definitely took me hours and hours and hours. I literally started out like 11, 15, and it's seven. And I was working nonstop. So that just shows how long these cakes take. So I hope you liked it. Um, I can't wait to do a little taste test with my family and stuff. And um, I'll include the picture at the end of it cut. And basically, um, it was pretty fun. It was a good learning experience. And I learned how to make a way better buttercream. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. And yeah, now we're just going to go eat this cake and see how it tastes. And there's like strawberries inside, so it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm really excited. So we'll let you know. Um, I'll put pictures at the end. I'll let you know how it tasted. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you want to see more baking videos. I really like doing them. And I kind of want to base my channel more off of it. And yeah, please give this one a like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.